we're thankful for great relationships with those legislators uh, here, and we've just got to continue to work for them so that way they can understand the challenges for those that are in the trenches uh, that are doing great things for kids every day. Local schools reacting tonight to the new state budget and the money needed to support educators and improve student success. The state legislature worked into the wee hours of the morning to approve its annual spending plan. The new state budget includes money for everything from rebuilding infrastructure and economic development to public safety and education. News 10's Mars Anderson spoke with state education leaders about how taxpayer dollars are being spent in hopes of improving local school performance. Mars? Yeah, David, Michigan lawmakers approved over $80 billion budget, larger than the budget proposed back in February. The investment in education is roughly quarter of that budget. That is $23.4 billion, looking to support students at every level. The Michigan legislature passed an education budget for the 2024-25 school year with the focus on student success from early childhood to post-secondary education. This budget is transformational for education in Michigan. When we look at the budget as a whole, um, you know, I still think there are some things that uh, could be considered unresolved from an education standpoint. A budget that provides free pre-K for four-year-olds in Michigan, investments in child care and programming offered during the school year and the summer. Which sets kids up to be early learners, early readers, to meet their milestones, to be ready to be able to take that next step in their educational journey when they enter elementary school. Along with the guarantee for free community college for Michigan high school graduates. So you could earn a skill certificate, an associate's degree, you can take your classes to be able to transfer to a four-year institution at no cost to you and your family. Mental health and safety received less than half of the amount proposed, a shortfall that the superintendent of the Ingham County Intermediate School District says will present challenges for local districts. We served uh, almost 675 students in, in mental health challenges this past year. Resource officers that might be in, inside school, safety officers, other safety components that school districts have used, um, to help make the facilities, the infrastructure safer. Those are things that, that school districts are going to have to take a serious look at. However, educators and advocates agree that with the new budget, the work continues to support students across the state. <laughs> Pros and cons, good stuff, some other challenging stuff. We'll continue to work through it. The work is never done, and we're committed to keeping that momentum going. Other investments in the budget include a focus on student literacy, free breakfast and lunch programs, and more support for students with special needs. Now that lawmakers have approved the budget, it's headed to Governor Whitmer's office for signature. Excuse me. Live in the studio, Mars Anderson, News 10.